Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I'm taking you to northwestern Pakistan to the beautiful city of Peshawar. This is an ancient city that dates back to the days of Alexander the Great. He actually passed through here. It's a market town, lots of street food, bazaar, gold bazaar. There's so much to see and do here. The chapli kebab is out of this world and they also have a legendary pulau. And you know what? Without further ado, let me introduce you to the beautiful city of Peshawar. My man, how you doing? I'm oh, fine, man. Are you enjoying? <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay, just take picture of this. What? Yes, that's all. My uh, friend, how you doing? So it's my boy Rashid. He's my guide for the next like nine days. He's gonna be taking me all around the northern part of Pakistan. And what do we have here, Rashid? This is complete plow. This is the specialty of the Peshawar. Okay. Okay, it's mixed with uh, you know uh, the fruit and chana, and especially uh, it's uh, uh, mixed with meat uh, of beef. Meat. So it's beef, right? It's and then beef. this is the, the, the tail, right? The tail of the legs. Oh, I love it. This, yeah. the, the, also, the, the bone marrow. The yeah, bone marrow. This is the bone marrow. And uh, also, uh, fish meat. It's the grape. Yeah, it's so the... we got chickpeas, we have raisins. Everybody wants a photo. They're too friendly. Let me see. This is an incredible bazaar. You have everything here from clothing to shoes. You have house appliances. Dry you have dry fruits. You have nuts. You have like guys making grass. What else do we have? I mean, just never-ending vendors. We got luggage. I mean, it's basically a mix of crockeries, crockeries as well. Yeah, yeah, crockeries as well. I mean, it's pottery, right? So everything for the kitchen over there. There's a huge mix of stuff right here, right? So this is where you come. This is where you come to buy everything for house appliances, you know, restaurant stuff. So that's why this is a famous market in in Pakistan. You can say where you can you can buy everything what you want to want on in one street. <laughs> so that's why this is the reason we are not able to bring our car here. Zaika Chawal. That is her name is Zaika Chawal. It's a very famous food point in Peshawar. Especially for plow. This market is so incredible. Massive, bizarre, huge, never ending vendors and everybody's so friendly. You know, I'm extremely tired today. I slept like four hours last night. I flew from Karachi to Islamabad two hours. And then I drove about an hour and a half all the way over here. And I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to explore this place, <laughs> to eat a lot of good food, and to interact with locals. That's the best part about this. You know, here, everybody's so friendly. They're just welcoming. We're gonna go eat. Ooh, pulao. And that pulao. bone marrow, mm, the best. You can see the pulao right here. So what's pulao? Very different from biryani. Pulao has no spices, right? So biryani is full of spices. And this one obviously has beef. Chickpeas, you have raisins, you have bones, you have that bone marrow, the best part about it. Oh yeah, that bone marrow. I need a bone, I need a big bone like that. That's so good. So this is the best place in the whole area, right? This is special. So we're about to eat the pulao. We're gonna sit on these little chairs right there. That is our seating area. So no table. You just sit down and you eat. Alright my friend, I'm hungry. Pulao. Okay, so Oh, oh. Low, huh? It's great. And this is it. Woo! Oh. I cannot wait. <laughs> and he put yeah. the bear, bone marrow on top, so what he does is he gets the bone, he like hit, bangs it like 20 times, it all comes out, and he puts it right here, and this is it. Bone marrow, mix it with some of the raisins and the chickpeas. Ready? Wow. I love it. It's like so different from biryani. So obviously the bone marrow is like gelatin, and you have almost no spices. It's more like nice layer from the from the raisins, right? The dry fruits. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I love the experience here. Sitting down on a tiny little stool, like super tiny, like three inches off the floor. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so unique. Whoa, bone marrow. And then the beef, go in here. Some of that flesh. Mm. Oh, so unique. Mm. I mean, you need to finish this, okay? We have a lot of you know, hard work to come here. Yeah, the problem is I have to finish this entire dish and then I have to eat like 20 other things, so 
I want another place to, you know, we need to visit and take some space for the family. I know. Okay. So I can't eat this all day. Look at that. Beef right yeah. here. Yeah. Mm. So good. So juicy. Incredible. So this is boiled, right? Boiled beef. Yeah. Oh, it's still alive. Yeah. Oh, it's still yeah. alive. Yeah. Right there, like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right there like that. Yes. This is incredible. Wow. Nice. Mm. Nice, nice. Today, I fasted. So, I am hungry. I had nothing this morning. Yesterday, <laughs> I ate so much. Today, I'm gonna eat a lot too. This is the rice, right? So unique. All combinations of flavors here. This beer, you know, two types of rice they are using on this. One is called Sailor Rice Sela. Sailor Rice Sela. Yeah, this, this is called Basmati Rice. Yeah, no, but not for sure. And the other one is Sela. Sela. Okay. The Sela is also they are using for the kabli flour as well. But this uh, Basmati, I think, is the best. Mm. The beef. The beef. The best part is the bone marrow, though. It's a bone marrow. It's a. They're saying that it's a bull beef. Bull. Oh, it's a bull. Yeah. Cut the bull off and now in your plate. The bull is in your Look plate. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is the bull. I've had bull out many times, but this one tastes the cake. Maybe I'm just starving and I, I like I'm, I'm enjoying it so much, you know. Oh, look at the beef, man. Oh, so much beef. <laughs> Oh, this is the best one in the city, right? The most famous one. The farmers, when uh, everyone, the tourists, when move to the, they are moving to Peshawar. Okay. So, so this Zaika chawal, you know, mm -hmm. we should must uh, taste it, this chawal. Like this called Zaika, Zaika chawal. Zaika means taste. Taste. The taste of it. Wow. Chawal means rice. Okay, so taste the rice. Taste of rice. His name. It's really filling, huh? It's really filling. Pretty cool. You know, I was finishing up and the guy came over and he just served me up a bunch of raisins and chickpeas. Wow, beautiful. Delicious. Wow. Mmm. A little moist too. Sorry because I don't want to offend anybody, but I can't eat this entire plate with a street food tour. It's just way too many dishes coming up. Just outside, it's not like three I wanted to try. Mmm. Oh. My friends, thank you. Shukriya. 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 Thank you guys. Enjoy. Enjoy. Super tasty. Extremely tasty, my friend. Woo. So, I'm gonna say that to somebody in need. I can't eat anymore, my friends. Thank you. Shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you so much. Shukriya. Shukriya. Oh, man. So, he's mixing the new, uh, new rice here. His new came uh, the kitchen. Yeah, so the new rice came from the kitchen, so he put it in, and then after he mixes all the beef, and the bones inside again. I love this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah. So good, so good. Very good, Thank you, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, you like it, you like it? Yeah, why not? I like it. Literally two doors down, we have this vendor selling fruit chat. So basically, it's dried fruits, you have nuts. What else we have? So we have some prunes in here. Oh, this place is amazing, it's like creamy. So it's a sweet, right? Super sweet. Oh man, tastes amazing. You see so many different flavors, textures. Mm -hmm. First time. First time. Oh yeah. I love it. So, we have almonds in here. There's cashews, raisins, and this right here. It's a big boy, right? Seed. Seed. A date with seed, right? Put it out. Done. <laughs> Pakistan is what? It's the best country. Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. Pakistan Zindabad. You also have banana in here, right? Banana? Yeah, banana. banana. Yeah. Banana. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's basically a fruit salad mixed with cream, right? It's all cream. It's something really, really different. I've never tried something like this. I know that in the north, there's more like dried fruits, right? A lot of dried fruits, a lot of nuts, right? Delicious. Great palate cleanser. 
So next up, we're going to a historical tea house right here. Because I need a mini break between the food, right? <laughs> having so much pulao, having that creamy, delicious chat. I, I mean, it's like a, I, uh, I guess like a fruit salad chat. That's the best thing. My friend, how you doing? Everything good? So free, so buddy. Now we'll go to this beautiful street. And upstairs, so there is an old tea house. This gentleman is too nice. He's like, you're our guest. You have to try my chat. Similar, but this one has paneer. I'll take a few bites. Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. This is bedroom. Mm. Good. 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 Take one bite. Okay, I'm gonna have a bite. So paneer, so that's the difference right here, right? And then he also added some stuff on top. So he added, I don't know what the the pink one is, but I know he added honey as well, right? Honey as well, yeah. Honey and paneer. Mmm. Very tasty. Very tasty. Mm. Good. Is it like cream on top too? Just cream, extra cream there. Oh my god. Mmm. That was like whipped cream. Oh. It's super. I love the paneer. Paneer is phenomenal. Nice crunch with the almonds. Darfo! Shukriya, Mazadar. Mazadar, Mazadar. Shukriya, thank you. Mazadar, delicious. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I would have more, but I'm stuffed. <laughs> Let's have some chai. In this, in this little alley right here. See, let go through this little alley. Go up the steps. Yeah, right? Is it? Hello, Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. This is old house, uh, the tea house is called. It, uh, he's saying that it is, he's working here for the last 50 years. Okay, this old house. So this is tea. He is making tea. In you'll see here two bowl here. One is a uh, warm water, and they are mixing a milk. And this a uh, uh, warm tea. So this is the place to sit down. Or oh, you can lay down too, right here. Oh, no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lay down right here. I'm gonna take a nap. I need a nap. I slept three hours last night. It's all good. Oh, I can pass out right here. This is the best tea house ever. Here we have the famous green tea from Peshawar. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wow, and there's no milk in here, right? No milk. A little bit, right? I was gonna say, because I've had green tea before, like in China, this does not taste the same, because the milk. Yeah, I'm not a huge tea guy, but I love chai. Chai, you know, the milky, frothy chai on the streets. That I love. This is good though. This is like amazing. And this is actually the best thing for you. Like green tea and black tea. Black tea is like processed, you know? So green tea all the way. Oh, it's phenomenal. Mm. Oh, wow. I can go to sleep. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's keep exploring this market. It's a huge market. Crossing the street again. And we have a vendor selling juices, pomegranate. Oh, the best. Hello, my friend, how you doing? Assalamu alaikum. Shukriya. Pomegranate juice. Oh, man. That is so refreshing. Mm. Oh, incredible. Lovely for us up here in the north. It's not hot, it is so good. Another digestive, right? Fantastic. Oh man. What's up guys? Welcome. Everybody doing? Thank you, thank you. It's so good. That's like the fresh pork I've ever had. So this is the entrance point from here to the Kisafani Bazaar. This is very different from Karachi. Extremely different. Like the old town is like a real old town. Like I'd say 200 years old in feeling, you know? Bazaar, so different from Karachi. Karachi is more of a big city. No, things are more spread out. Here, lots of traffic, lots of people, street food everywhere. Uh, this is the sixth uh, largest city of the Pakistan, and this is the oldest city of South Asia. So it's totally different uh, city. Uh, if you compare with Islamabad or Lahore, so the Lahore and Islamabad is a little bit, uh, you can say, a modern city. So Peshawar is still an oldest city, and you'll see a lot of uh, the mosques, 
and uh, they were more than 200 years old, 300 years old most. First time seeing bean karai being made. Second you put all the spices in, it hit me in the face. My eyes are like itching right now. Oh, so it's like it like beans on this pan. And it's basically it, right? It's spicy. It's just spicy, yes. Somebody is spicy, then he can make the chili, uh, like red chili or the green chili. Yeah, because this area, Peshawar, north area, is more mild, less spices compared to Karachi. I was going to try it, but I'm taking a little break. If I eat everything in this city, I'll turn into a balloon. What is this, like the jewelry section? Yeah, this is the yeah, jewelry section. It's all, uh, you can see here, it's gold. It's a gold and uh, some are artificial. Now most of these ones are gold. This area, these sections are the jewelry, jewelry bazaar. It's called Zalan Jewelries. This market name is Zalan Jewelries. So it's not so big. I mean, it's like five to ten shops right here, right? Yeah. They're all selling gold, selling some silver, you know, necklaces, bracelets. It's a mix, right? So here we have the wanna vendor. Look at these massive wannas. Can I see this one? Look at this. Okay, I'll try one. Try it. This one. If I can break it off. Mmm. So good. For me, the best is walnuts in the baklava. Mmm. But like this, you know, straight, is awesome as well. He offered us a bunch for free, and I was like, I don't know how many nuts I can eat right now. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, wow, look at all the jewelry. Yeah, so the much jewelry. more. So this is the real jewelry bazaar, because over there was just a small section. This is the real thing. This is the real thing, yes. This wow. whole street, you know, as jewelry street, it's called... The entire thing? See, on there. Okay, so it's like a hundred... Almost all street. It's like a hundred vendors selling gold yeah, and yeah. silver, right? So, so, Beautiful jewelry. Yeah. So now you know. You want to buy some gold? Come here, and everybody's super friendly. They're like, come in, buy something, try something. Buy something but this is all for something. women, mostly, you know? <laughs> I mean, there are some like bracelets for men, you know, but I'm not, that's not my style. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big jewelry guy. The only thing I wear is my wedding ring, you know? So that's a jewelry repair shop. You bring your stuff, if it's broken, he fixes it. Basically it. It's awesome to see that though, like right out here in the open, anybody can just stop by, watch him. Can you find the, like your home wire? Where's your cable wire? <laughs> that, that's intense. I mean, I've seen this in a lot of countries. But it's, it's actually pretty organized, you know? Yeah. Sometimes it's like all over the street. Yeah. This, this is decent. It's decent. <laughs> and now we're exiting the jewelry bazaar, which is very, very long. And this is where we started in the beginning, right? Over yeah, here. Yeah. All right, guys. We didn't find the kebabs, so we found the next best thing. Kurfi. Mm. What is it, the pistachios or what? Yes, that's the pistachio flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm. I've never seen this on the street. So basically he has it in cylinders, he puts it into water so it comes out of the cylinder and you have it on a stick, right? It's delicious, wow. Pakistani ice cream? Mm. It's thick. It's good ice cream, no? It's like ice cream, dense ice cream. Mmm, super sweet. Oh, my dude. Oh, oh. Brain freeze, though. Mm. So cold. I've never seen cookie like this. Like here on the street in these cylinders. First time. Now I understand how he does it. So the big cylinder with cream right here. Then he adds it into the freezer. This is a freezer right under here, right? And then he has a stick. And when it's ready, then people order. When he puts it in here, it basically melts it really fast. At least the edges, right? So he pulls it out really easily. That's it. Street food, kulfi. Shukriya, shukriya, shukriya. Acha. Coffee or tea? Uh, tea? Tea, tea, tea. Chai, chai. Tea, chai. This gentleman is too nice. I came into this shop right here, next to where all the date vendors are, all the garments, and he offered me some tea. Oh, it's a good chai. Mm. Chai, 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 chai. Nice chai. My favorite. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Shukriya. Thanks, thanks. Shukriya. Thank you so much. So, what does he have here? What are these? What is all this? Yeah. Chana Mas. While we, while we training and uh, for while we using for the, uh, the praying time. So all these to the left that are very colorful, those are prayer mats, right? Prayer. So when they go to pray, that's what they use to pray. 
and on the right we have basically shawl so when it's really cold here in the winter when I got here this morning it was cold now it's hot but I'm sure it's gonna get colder tonight so you can wear that so you know with this you can't put a sweater over it you put a shawl I love it here everybody stops stairs and you know welcome to your open arms David pleasure nice uh, to meet Facebook, you Iris. Facebook YouTube YouTube this is called uh, men's scarf while uh, you, you you can use it's not that much like hard so you can use anytime so with the, so I will show you so how it's wear. So this is a light scarf. So like in this weather you can put it on, right? Because yeah, yeah, at night anyway. you'll feel a little bit of the you know the breeze. Oh that's nice. Pink, beautiful. That's it, huh? That's a scarf. You look good. <laughs> Thank you. I mean the color is amazing. I love it. It's super bright, you know, vibrant. Yeah, of course. Wow, look at this one, red. How much does it cost? How much for this? Beautiful color. Wow. Oh, I thought so. Look at this, guys. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. And it's it like, like very beautiful. You don't need to wear a cloth and uh, it's for my side. <laughs> okay, it's good for you. No, it's no. Not, it looks amazing. Dude. Yeah. Okay. You see, that's Pakistan. <laughs> Super hospitable. I haven't paid for a thing on this trip. Not one thing. This is the brown, brown sugar. It's totally natural. I don't love sugar. But brown sugar, I'll do it. Oh. Yeah. Mm. It's pure and natural. Mm, pure. Sugar. Yes. Tastes like jaggedy. Similar to jaggedy, no? Yeah. It's Very similar. Mmm, nice and sweet. But it's like a, like a sweet rock. Sweet rock. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how the dry fruit vendors look, right? Big shop, lots of nuts, dried fruits. I'm gonna try uh, apricot. It's okay. Mmm. For me, it's the best. Mmm, nice and dense. Very chewy. Filling. Very nice. Here is uh, dry mulberry. So, let me check. So, how's the taste here? Oh, man. Delicious. So, you're allowed to come in, try. Obviously, you should be buying, but you can try something. That's it. Sugaria. 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 All right, thank you. Okay, and this guy has knives. Look at this. Beautiful. Can I see one? This is handmade? Like he handmade the, the actual PC hole yeah, archer, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice blade. It's really cool. The only problem is, I don't think they're gonna let me take this home to America. <laughs> what is that? Kachalu. Kachalu. Yeah. Kachalu, potato. Yeah. Like a potato. And it also has cucumber, right? Yeah, it has cucumbers in it. Yeah, it's cucumber. Nice. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm really full. I'm really, I'm really full, my friend. Thank you. Shukriya. Shukriya. You're too nice. You're too nice. Too kind. And this is something really unique. This is corn chapati. So it's corn uh, dough, right? And then he flattens it. And he shapes it into this round cylinder shape, right? And then he puts it here on the frying pan. A lot of oil. Super oil. Oh man. It looks good though. You want this? No, no. <laughs> Thank you. That's it my friends. We explored the Kesafani market in Peshawar. It is infinite. So many things here. Non-stop food. I mean, we can easily eat on the area we were at. Like 20 different types of vendors. So usually it's like pulao, a lot of the creamy, nutty, uh, fruity, uh, like chat, right? Yes. Also some fruit drinks. So like perfectly squeezed fresh juices. So bomb. We also had some tea and we walked around and we mingled with locals. That's the best part about this place is that people do not, you know, shy away. They tell you to come in. You know, they just, well, he, they didn't give me this. He got me this. But, <laughs> but, but everybody offered us so many things. We barely paid for food. I mean, so nice. Pakistan is amazing. You will love Peshawar. And this is just the beginning. This is the first market we visit, the first foods we eat. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Okay, yeah. Also, you it's a huge. Because you are exploring our Peshawar. Oh. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. You like make me cry, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank because you. Because you are exploring our Peshawar. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Thank you. You are welcome in Peshawar. I'm going to eat some kebabs later. Yeah. Hopefully. Kabob. <laughs> so my friend, how are you? Ah, how are you? Very good. You? Very good. I'm excited. I love your city. Oh, there they are. There they are. I love this hat. Okay. I'm going to put one on, see what it looks like. And it's wool, right? Oh, this is small. This is too small for me. Let's see, a bigger one. 
I think it's fine. Very you think good. it's good? Good, good, good. Nice. Good? Good, good. <laughs> Looks nice? Yeah, it's just nice. How much is it? How much does it cost, this one? I love the hat. So, it's war, so it's really hot. It fits me a little tight. It's supposed to be like this? Tight like this? Yeah. Even this is too tight. It's like you Even just like, like, like this? Like that? It's like easy? That. It's, 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 you can use it very easily. It's cool. So this one is the Cindy hat, and this is from Peshawar. Right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, we take it. My friend, Shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you so much. Shukriya. Guys, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm okay, how about you? I am and fine. Awesome. It's okay. Pakistan! Zindabad. Zindabad. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Alright, so we're walking through this market. Uh, we entered a street, right? So, yeah. a lot of different vendors. One of the coolest ones I've ever seen, though, is that kid with the coconuts. He, like, diced them up perfectly. I'm still really full, so I'm gonna wait for your dinner. But you gotta be careful here. As we're walking through, uh, you know, motorcycles, cars, everything. You have dried fruits, you have garments. You have, uh, you know, clothing for kids, toys for kids, what's up, my man? And everybody's so friendly, everybody wants to talk. And I love the hat, man, I love it. It's a little different person here. And there's also a food street right here? No way, more food? Like, look, Pani Puri right here. Is that Pani Puri? It's called the Hibale. So it's a mixture of yogurt, boiled uh, potato, chana, and it's a green salad. It's a mixture of this. Okay, so it's a chat, right? So like you said, a mix of different things, it's more like a, like a salad. Mm -hmm. Cucumbers, you know the spice? Mm. Many different chutneys. You put one footy here, right? So, oh, I broke it. Too much. So I'll stuff it, right? Yes. Oh, oh, Just yeah. like that, you know? Yeah, it's like that. Come on, man. I know my thing. Oh. I'm the puri king. Oh, mm. oh man. The yogurt, the chutneys, crunch, mmm, very sweet. That's one thing I haven't tried before, a chat with cucumbers. Yeah. Oh, phenomenal. Mm. Mm. Very refreshing salad. Thumbs up. The tamarind, mint, yogurt, so different. The food up here is very diverse. Yeah. Basically, is called yogurt, bale, a boiled potato. bale. My friend here didn't charge me. Thank you. The two kinds. Two kinds. America. America. Go America. Everybody's so nice. The best country. Thank you. This vendor is selling chats, but with sev, potatoes. Uh, it's like almost like a crunchy samosa, but not samosa. It's basically the outer part of the samosa, nothing inside, right? So it's like fried dough. And he also has some cabbage. What else? Some spices down there. Mmm, look at that. It's like a big chat. Let me see this. <gasps> this is great, but I can't eat that right now. <laughs> the problem with coming to all these vendors is they keep offering me free food. He just said, take this. I'm like, guys, I mean, I can't, be keep, I can't keep eating like this. Thank you so much. It's delicious. Spices, the chili, tomato. I don't know what that is, but super crunch. Oh, this is great. Thank you. So my friends, I'm limiting the food tonight because I had so much food today. I had a plow earlier, lots of things. I mean, I didn't stop eating, but wow, look at this. More food, strawberries. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and see how they make these chapatis. So they're making chapatis, but they're also adding some toppings on top. One of them looks like a pizza, like a, almost like a focaccia. Taking my shoes off. So what is that? Yeah, this is called pizza parata. Pizza parata. It's, it's uh, different with uh, this parata. This is simple and they are uh, coated with uh, you know tomato and basil yeah. right yeah, yeah with the mint oh mint mint this is this is rogni naan rogni naan rogni naan it's sweet rogni it's sweet this is incredible look so there's five guys in here the guy in the back is rolling the dough then the next guy he puts it on the shelf then the next guy uh basically you know spreads it out makes it into a circle you know then this guy puts it on the pillow and it puts it into the tandoor. The tandoor is literally the floor. If you step right there, it's like on fire. Then after a few minutes, he's gonna do it right now. He's gonna pour it out, he's gonna throw it right here, and that's it. Basically, they have so four different variations right now, right? Oh, look at this. Love it back here. So traditional, authentic experience. Nice. Nice, very nice. More stuff? 
Jalabi. Jalabi. <laughs> Jalabi. You know what? I haven't tried Jalabi in Pakistan yet. Why not? What is Jalabi? Well, it's a super sweet, decadent dessert, right? So basically what they do is they get the dough, basically fried dough, but they do it in like a cylinder shape, right? Or a swirl, swirl shape. And then they dip it, like literally let it just drown in sugar syrup. <laughs> sugar syrup. So after a few minutes of it being there, then they move it over here, let it sit, and you can try it. Now you can try it. So sweet. All right, that was awesome. But look at this the chicken that's like cooked vertically, right? So, what is this called? Charga. Charga. Charga, yeah. So, what is it? Is this chicken like. Yeah, it's the whole chicken. You know, it's a barbecue, whole barbecue chicken. So, basically, it's like a roasted chicken, but like this, right? Vertically. And then inside, they put the wood, and that's it. Just cooks. So this is famous here in this city. In this city, you know, it's also in Lahore and Islamabad as well. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Your place. Hello, how are you? Wow, I mean kebab. And this is chapali kebab. Yeah, chapali kebab. So chapali kebab is a uh, baked beef with some spices. I think some egg in there. He makes it into like a patty, almost like a burger. Then he slides it slowly right into the oil. Oh, it looks good. It looks. Delicious. Is there anywhere to try a tiny piece? Yeah. We're gonna try it. Make up a little piece. So it is like, oh. Mmm. Basically a fried burger, right? Nice, like spicy. Nice and like, not like mushy, but like soft. A little. Outside, a little crispy. Mm. Oh, so good. Look at this. Yeah, bike. I love it. Onions, vegetables, onion, vegetables, tomatoes, and egg. And yeah, it's like kima. It's not kima. It's not kima. Beef. It's too much, but I'm good. Mm. Sugria. 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 Uh, too, nice. too nice, too nice. You know, I was trying to think what it reminded me of, and it's like a almost like a vegetable patty, like a, a vegan burger that's like a little fried. Sometimes we do an air fry, that's really fried. Oh, but so nice. We're gonna have something like that later, right? Kebabs later? Kebabs later, yes. And right here, more sugar cane juice for me. This is my favorite. I love it. Nice and refreshing, huh? So sweet. So sweet, man. Our friend here is too generous. I came up just to take a photo. He's like, no, no, you're having one. You're having one. Hey, cheers. Cheers, man. Oh, so refreshing. The best. When I'm in India, I have it every day. Every day. Yeah, yeah, because they have it every everywhere. Also in Miami and in Brazil, same thing. I'm from Miami. And in Brazil, when I was there, every day when I pull. Sure, okay, not like this, like in a, in a store. Same thing in Miami, you don't find it on the street. It's gonna be really affordable, right? Yeah, it's affordable. So how much was it? It's 50 rupees per glass, it's 100 rupees of two kilos. 100 rupees? 100 rupees. Jalebi everywhere. So many sweets on the street. Oh man, so many good snacks. Let's find some clothes, no? Then we're gonna buy some clothes. Yeah. <laughs> we came here for clothes and we started eating. So we're looking for a shamakamis shop. So what I'm wearing right now, shamakamis. We're looking for a shop, so I'm gonna buy a white one. That's what most men wear, you know, white, green, you know, a mix, but usually the flag, right? So many vendors, so many. This place is one of the most busiest areas I've ever seen in terms of markets. You know, I've seen a, a bunch, you know, Ghana, India, Brazil, so many different ones in Asia. But this one is really, really special. Uh, just so complex between food, garments, luggage, toys. It's a big mix. It doesn't end too. It, it, there's no like limit here, right? This keeps going and going and going. All right, my friends, we couldn't find a shop that has this. For some reason, no shop has the white one. So what we're gonna do now is get back in the car 
and then go eat some kebabs at a really famous spot. It's like 30 minutes, right? 30 minute drive, something like that. All right, long drive over here. Dali restaurant and barbecue. Yes. Let's go, let's eat. Remember that side, they're barbecuing the chicken, and over there they're doing the kebabs. That's what, like the ones we had earlier, but this one's special. Wow, low the fire here. Oh, nice heat. Hello, my friend, how are you? Okay, I'm in the back with the chef, and he's showing me how he makes it. So he gets the beef, he puts some tomatoes, some chilies, and he added some eggs. He just, like basically mix it all together and then he makes a patty and he slides it right into the frying pan. Lots of oil. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. I know I tried it earlier, but this is the one you have to try when you come here to Peshawar. Mm. Peshawar. Oh man. I can't wait to eat this. It's gonna be amazing. It just looks so good. The smell. Go on. Go on. Oh, tea? Mm. For me? Mm. Okay. Great. I need it. Mmm, nice green tea. This one doesn't have the milk like earlier. This is this is just straight. Oh, it's perfect. Still really hot though. A little hot. So where's your next? Come, dude. Yeah. Come here. Come here, please. Perfect. And here we go. The Jalil kebab. Jalil kebab. Perfect. Jali kebab. So the owner's name is Jalil. Obviously, this is the kebab. Here we have raita, which is yogurt mixed with some mint and some herbs, right? Some garnishes. And then here we have some delicious naan bread. So how does it work? Well, you get some of this, right? Put it on top of that. And then break off a piece of this. Always use one hand, the right hand, right? Always. And you go down and you get it. Oh, I'm so excited for this. He's been telling me about it all day. He's like, David, save some room for this. I'm like, I don't know about room, but I'll eat it. <laughs> Perfect. Mmm. 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 Mmm, yeah. Mmm. Oh, man. This one's actually lightly fried in comparison to the one we had earlier. Mmm. So, it's almost like a, like minced meat with tomatoes. There's chilies in here. This egg. Oh, my God, it's fantastic. Mmm. Delicious. So I'm gonna just add some more right there, right there. And if you want to, you can use a fork. I'm going, you know, Pakistani style. Very easy. Get some of this. Don't get too much bread. That's a trick. You're supposed to get a little bit like that. Oh yeah. I love it because it gives it a like, nice minty, creamy taste. The the raita. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. So we, when you combine the bread and the burger, it's like a burger, like a straight up burger in America, right? Similar, obviously, it's different, it's fried. Mm. And the beef is so fresh. Mm -hmm. Greasy, obviously. With a deep oil pit, right? Love the oil. Mmm. -hmm. This is amazing. The best thing ever. Ever. It's like my favorite burger of all time. I love it. The inside is not well done, you know? Still like very soft. If I didn't eat so much today, I would have like two or three of these. For real. I love it. The carrot. Try it. Mmm. Assalamu alaikum, my friend. How are you? Incredible, Thanks. incredible. Thank you so much. I was telling him it's one of my favorite like juicy burgers ever, like kebab burger. Oh, Thanks. too good. But we ate so much today, you have no idea. We ate like what, twelve dishes, thirteen dishes, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, they don't. Tummy, tummy. <laughs> so this is the chicken barbecue. Uh, Saji. Saji, Saji, yeah. So I saw it once in Karachi and I saw a lot of here. Okay. But basically, it's chicken barbecue yes. and they do it vertically. Yes, yes. I've never seen this in my life. It's it's, it's from here. Okay. First of all, right? Yes. Oh man. It smells good. It smells good. If, if I was hungry, yes. I would have a whole chicken. This <laughs> <laughs> is the specialty of the shower. It names are uh, kabli pulao and rice. 
have some video. More pulao? Uh, this is Kabri pulao, a national dish of uh, Afghanistan, and then shifted to Pakistan and Peshawar, which is mostly famous in Pakistan. It includes rice and carrots and, and a bundle of uh, meat. Oh, that's This chef is the best, man. Chef awesome. Chef. He's a legend. How many hours? He's a, he's a legend. He's a what? Yes, he's a legend. He's a legend, I know. He's, he's is working legend. here from last 22 years. 22 years, yeah. this guy? Yeah. I mean, look at this. <laughs> the best kebab on the planet, right here. Right here. With the legend here. Flipping burgers. Never had a burger this good. Oh, this kebab. I'm going to dream about this kebab for a long time. I'm taking a few home. Uh, uh, oil is flying. That's the best part. Still very juicy and you know soft, tender. Okay, I'm out of the kitchen. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for the hospitality. You thank are the you best. Thank you for coming to Pakistan, especially. I'm thanking to you again. No, thank you, Jalil. Yes. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Shukriya. 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 <laughs> You guys are the best. Thank you for the hospitality. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks everybody. Thank you. All right, my friends. We did it. Another epic adventure here in beautiful Pakistan. Wow, we explored the market. I thought we weren't gonna eat food there. I thought we were just going in for some clothing to get a hat and also one of these, but you know what? We ended up eating a lot, a lot of food. I thought this was the only thing we we're gonna eat today or tonight, but we ate so much incredible things, you know, from chats, we had sugarcane, tried jalebi, we saw them making, you know, chapatis. I mean, it was epic. This city is so beautiful. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, now we are going to the Khyber Pass. Uh, basically, Khyber Pass is the entrance between, uh, you know, Peshawar city and uh, the Afghanistan. From Khyber Pass to Afghanistan border, it takes 30 minutes. So now we will go to uh, uh, the Khyber Pass. From here, it takes uh, around uh, one about one hour. One 50 hour. minutes to one hour okay so on the way we will stop for uh, breakfast we will have our breakfast on the way uh, what on breakfast what so is on it? breakfast yeah we'll have uh, a chana malai with paratha and also the tea okay. it's the specialty uh, basically it's called the punjabi nashta so yeah it's like about a one hour drive right yeah one hour drive on the way we're going to see lots of restaurants hotels and basically that's it right and once we yeah. get there like a winding road Right, and then there's the gate, the main yeah, gate, and that is like the symbol, the iconic symbol of the past. Of the past. And if you want to go to Afghanistan, like if you're going to Afghanistan, or you're coming from Afghanistan, it's only 30 minutes from there. On the Torkham border, uh, so there is a big gate. So from uh, you know from Afghanistan to Pakistan, there is a, on the gate is basically now nowadays it's open because of the Corona, it was closed before. So a lot of trucks and goods coming from Afghanistan and going to Pakistan from here. This is the Grand Trunk Road. It's called the GT Road. It's connecting to Afghanistan, Pakistan, and directly connected to India, New Delhi. Okay. So quick question: Chana Malai. So Chana is chickpeas, and then Malai is the cream. So it's Chana and cream. Chana and cream. It's not together. It's not together. So it's, yeah, no, no, it's not together. Okay. Yeah, they will serve you separately. Separately, and you Chana get the parata separate, and yeah. you just. Yeah, bite. you can take a prada and then take a Oh bite. man, I can't wait for some chai though. Oh yeah. <laughs> I need some, it's early. It's like 7.30 in the morning, we're going really early. Yeah. Want to get there and uh, you know, the best part about this area, especially um, during this time of year, is that it's really cool. It's not too cold. The, the temperature will go up, uh, you know, in two degrees centigrade or three, then not in minus. Okay. Yeah. Well guys, let's go to the Cairo Pass. So here we are at the Khyber Pass. That right there is the main gate. So 30 kilometers more, you get to Afghanistan, Afghanistan right? Yes. So there's a market here. Yeah. There's a bazaar. This is a bazaar here, Jamrud Bazaar. Jim from Rood. here, uh, the taxis and the buses are going to Afghanistan from this area. Okay, okay. perfect. So, so we're gonna get off here and look for some chana yes, masala, yes. right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Uh, breakfast with chana and malai with prata as well. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? So this vendor right here has the chana, which is the chickpeas, right? He's also uh, frying some chicken. He has some like beef stew, some tomatoes. And right across from us on the other side is where they're doing the paradas, right? Yeah, Over there? Okay, so in the tandoor? Yeah, oh man, it looks great. What is that? Let's go see how they make the parata in the tandoor. So parata in tandoor. Parata in tandoor, yeah, rogani. Rogani parata, it's called rogani parata. Okay. It's made in tandoor. I don't think I've had that one. 
The Rodney Parata. He's the first time for me. On the way to the Parata, there's a few different vendors. One of them is selling a bunch of chats here, right? Nice chats like this, Sev. Mmm, it's good. Very nice, my friend. And over here, he's roasting some corn. Oh, wow. I've never seen it before. He has all the corn here. He has a big bowl and the fire right under it. Morning, my friend. Assalamu alaikum. Loving this place. So this is like where everybody commutes between the borders, right? Yeah. There's a lot of Afghanis here. A lot of, mostly this all are Afghanis. Okay. Yeah, the, you know, the, you've seen the females, they were waiting. They're yeah. going to Afghanistan. Yeah, They're yeah. waiting the bus and the local bus. And the bus will come and then they, go. they will go to Afghanistan. Yeah, there's a female here. waiting area. Obviously, we're not covering that. We're trying to be respectful here, but a lot of different vendors doing different things. So there's like brown sugar, uh, you know, there's so many fried items. And then, you know, things for cars, right? Cars, houses, uh, House. typical bazaar, right? Typical bazaar. And right in front of us, that is the ba Bab El Khyber. So, so that is the gate, the main gate or the gate of the Khyber Pass, yeah. right? So we're gonna look for some parata. It's not so easy to find it, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna eat parata today. So we found a spot here that has the chana and the malai and the paratas, but they also have bani pulao. Banu pulao. Banu pulao. And this is a pulao from Afghanistan, right? Um, yes. With beef. With beef. So. With a small, you know, pieces of beef. Mm -hmm. So the gentleman here is super generous. He just like gave me a dish. He's like, you have to try. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty. Tasty. Ah. Mm. Oh man. So different. Moist, chunky beef, hearty. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, what a great way to start a day. Oh. Mm. So this taste is different than the Kabuli Pulao, right? It is different. And doesn't have um, doesn't have all the other things like the raisins, the you know, the chickpeas, all the dry fruit. This is less. This is less. Mm. Very tasty. The red, then I have the dry fruit or lines of the It's yeah. not that much spicy. No, it's not spicy at all. I mean, it's basically just rice and beef. Rice and beef. Yeah. With lots of taste. So much taste here. Mm. Oh, phenomenal. So they weigh it. Yeah, first they weigh it. And then they said, how much uh, kidney will pick a plate after this? Four rupees. Four rupees. On this, you know, they wear this one mm -hmm. uh, for one, 100 rupees, Pakistani rupees. This is the malai, right here. Malai is like a, it's a cream, straight up cream, right? That's what okay. it is. So we have the malai, we have the chana, more chana right here, and then this is the tandoor. Oh, big place. He closed it. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Very good. How are you country? Love you country. Okay. So this is a different type of parada, right? So he keeps folding it, adding oil and more flour. A little different. And then the shape is not completely round, right? So he's folding it almost like a... I don't even know what you would call this. Oh, like that? Okay, okay. Yeah. So I thought it was going to be very, very different, like, like a long swirl. But then he made it into like the real parada, right? Flatbread. Oh man, it's gonna be good. Super hot in here. I'm like literally in the tent door. Look at this. Oh, hot. They are too nice. Oh wow. What is he doing? So he's like just making these little holes, right? It's an air pockets basically, that pops up. This is like one of the deepest tendus I've ever seen. It's easily like five feet deep, really wide, like four, so five by four. Oh, smoke in the eyes. <laughs> and the whole community came to, to welcome me here. Assalamu alaikum. Pakistan. I've never seen a parata like this. So basically, it's a really, really thin, crispy parata. He pulled it out and he added some more ghee and then they put it back in and toasted it even more. Let me see how it feel. Ooh, it's super hot. Ooh. Delicious. So we're going to put this, malai, and china. A little bit crispy. Yeah, it looks great. Shukriya. 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 Thank you. Shukriya. This is amazing. The whole entire community came to welcome me. Everybody, all the men just came over and said, hi, you're warm and welcome. Okay. So now, Malai, Chana, and Parata. And this is what we're eating on the floor. Here we go. Chana, Malai, and Parata. Perfect. So how do we do it? Nice and crunchy and crispy. And then like this. So let's get some of that Chana, delicious chickpeas. There's uh, some cucumbers, some onions, a chili in there as well. 
No, no es spicy. Oh, wow. What's this? It's like a corn chapati. Corn chapati, it looks like a biscuit. Corn chapati. Dip it. Mm. It's great. So different. You never eat corn here, you know? I think it's like one of the hard things to eat. Yeah, mostly in this area, these people are like corn. Yeah. Mm. It's like cornbread. It's cornbread. It's the cornbread. Very thick. So dip it in, right? Get some of that oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard. Done. So that's how we do it, right? Just get the barata. Get a little bit and dip it in. Yeah, dip it in and then get as much as you can, right? Oh, do I get the chili? Get the chili as well. Mmm. Oh, this is not too hot. Nice oil. Mm. Very soft chippies. And on the side, you also have like a, sweet. like a sweet salad, right? Like a cucumber. It's almost like a dill salad. So this is a cucumber onion yogurt salad on the side. What an experience here. Mm. Incredible. Mm. I gotta say, when you told me about this place, you didn't tell me what to really expect. And this is just another, another world. This is, you know, unexpected <laughs> we come here. Just, I, was, I was thinking we'll go to some restaurant and just sit and then we will eat. Mm -hmm. uh, we will order prata, chanai, malai. But here is totally different. Yeah, and literally everybody surrounding us watching us yeah. see. This is great. <laughs> No, I, I know, man. They, they never see a foreigner come and like really embrace their culture, right? In this area, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this is this is obviously on the border with Afghanistan. Less people come this way. Mm -hmm. Look how crispy the parata is. So different. Also, lots of ghee, so. This is extra sweetness. Sugaria! Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you so we much. Yes, sir. To you, congratulations. To you, came our country. Bye, Just... Oh, thank you. Thank you. The best welcome I could have ever. I mean, I couldn't have expected this. This is like awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. And this? The best. Pulao? Pulao. So good. So good. Sugaria. 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 What a beautiful place. Incredible. And this is like a tiny, tiny town, right? Right here. Kyrie Pass. Oh, where are we going next? We will see the landscape, that's it. There is no any market, any bazaar, nothing. So, just we will see the area, the road, which is going to the Afghanistan. We keep making our way into more and more incredible vendors. Over here we have a guy making popcorn. This guy's making samosas. A little different though. These samosas are very thin, not so full. Cool. they have anything inside? Anything? It looks empty. Inside with the boiled uh, potato, tomato, and with gravy. Oh yeah? So it's a mixture of potato, tomato and ready. Yeah. But they're very, very thin. It's a little bit crispy. Extremely crispy. Shagria. You want to I guess I'll taste it, but it's really hot, right? Woo! It's probably hot. <laughs> it's like extremely hot. It just came yeah. out of the fry. So it's a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you have some potatoes, potatoes. you have some herbs. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is like a super crispy empanada. Mm. Oh, too hot, too hot, right? Everybody's so friendly. So friendly. What's up, guys? Okay, so we're gonna keep walking through this bazaar. Uh, it's packed now. Lots of people, lots of cars. Wow, beautiful. So over here we have a mosque, right? Yeah, this is a mosque. So we have a mosque, and then basically just a big bazaar, right? With everything. It's a big bazaar. It's called Jamrut Bazaar. Jamrut Bazaar. So everything is going uh, to Afghanistan border from here. In Afghanistan border, there is no any talk shop or any other small shop, it's nothing. But uh, the vendor, they're uh, like uh, coming here to take their goods and grocery. They're buying from here. This is the market near to the Afghanistan border. Wow, the ice blocks. Yeah, the ice blocks. Oh man. So we're gonna walk a little more through the market and see what else we can find. A lot of vegetable vendors over here. So there's a different, it feels completely different from that side, which is more food. Over here, it's just like a real market. Look at this ice box, it's straight melting. This vendor is very friendly. So he has yeah. potatoes, yeah. cauliflower, tomato, onions, cucumbers, what else? Well, I gotta put my mask on, hold on, hold on a sec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this guy doing? His name is Ukra. Yeah, we're Ghana. We're local to Ghana. Ghana, Ghana. It's, uh, the local name is Ghana. Okay. So, they're clean and they're, you can eat easily. It's worth very tasty and very sweet. Okay. It looks like heart of palm. 
Mmm, nice. Man, a lot of moisture comes out. Mmm, sugar. Very sugar. The sugar cane. A lot of sugar came out of it, a lot of water, right? Mm. I get like stuck on this all day. Yes. Incredible how everybody surrounds us. It's like intense here. Can't even walk now. Too many people. Everybody's so nice though. Super friendly. Hello. Hello, how are you? Very good. You're from America, America. America. Yeah. Uh, you from tourists? How is uh, Jamrud? Is good? Very good. Really? Love this country. First time, yeah, second time. First time, first time. First time, first time. welcome. Thank you, my friends, thank you. Hey, this market became alive, huh? So many people now, intense. Wow. I mean, now it's like vibrant. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Mahalo. Mahalo. <laughs> I, I, I gotta keep moving because it keeps stopping me. You keep telling me, hey, come try something. Come look at this. Okay, here's the vegetables, huh? All vegetable market here. Hello, my friend. How are you? This vendor right here is selling kid, which is basically rice pudding. A little different though. This one looks a little browner. Usually it's like whiter. This is yeah, more brown. Because because he uh, ate the brown sugar. Oh, just brown sugar. The that's brown why. Sugar. Okay, okay, that's why. That's why. All right, let's continue. I can't have some kid right now. <laughs> Welcome to the bazaar. Another beautiful place. Wow, this place is like electric, right? So many sounds. Yeah, a lot of stuff here. You know, it's a, a general store with cosmetic shop. Okay, so this side is like less bustling. It's, it's more like a mall, it feels like, it's right? Like it's like an mall. open air mall, right? So it's like three stories, it's just all vendors. So this side of the market is full of like stuff for babies and kids toy stores but also they sell diapers you know everything for for children, everything here. For children here and, and they also, also have a blanket and uh, everybody's so friendly price, everybody's yes. asking me to come into their shops cosmetics yeah, can <laughs> cosmetics yeah so up here you got more toys you got balls over here we have shampoo vendor I mean never any shampoo hello my friend how you doing oh it looks good chai chai everything good Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Very good. You? Thank you. Really. One of the vendors invited us to his shop. So we're on the second level now. And whoa, there's no, uh, there's no railing here. <laughs> A little scary, but it's fine. Is it? <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. How are you? Everything good? Everything good? How are you? So what do you sell here? So cologne, perfume, body spray, body spray shampoo, so a, a mix of you think Englishmen. Englishmen? Yes. You are drinking tea or you are drinking juice? Tea, tea. tea. Only chai. Chai, chai, chai. chai. Uh, sugar up. Everything's uh, here allowed. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. My friends here are too kind. They brought us some, some chai, but it's really hot look at this it's like smoking mmm <laughs> very nice this one nice and creamy mm-hmm very different Ooh. this is tea as well but it's called special special it's called dood pati dood pati dood pati there's no any water only milk no water yes, no water yeah usually there's water but this one's like straight milk so it's basically very nice. I'm not a big milk guy, but this is fantastic. I have a special guest. Shukriya, guys. Thank you so much. I mean too much. They're offering me more food. I'm like, nah, nah, I need a break. I can't be eating all day. If I eat every hour, one snack, that's too many snacks, no? <laughs> They're like the best. This is one of my favorites ever. Mm. Mm, so tasty, so tasty. My friend, shukriya, 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 shukriya. Jazakallah. 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 One of my friends, he was uh, saying uh, to me before, he said that uh, if you uh, visit the Karhano market, then uh, bring uh, perfume for me, because it's best perfume here. It's uh, the flavor is, yeah, vanity and splendor. Shukriya, shukriya, shukriya. Hey, thank you so much again. Thank shukriya, shukriya. The hospitality is too much. I'll see you next time. Inshallah, inshallah. Walking through this market, as you can see, lots of vendors, lots of different things. So we have some French fries over there. 
And there's a guy making like a, like a chicken stew soup. I mean, I couldn't really tell what it was, but there was chicken on top, there was eggs. Hey, that was a super stew. Chicken soup, yes. With spices and stuff, It's right? spices and especially, uh, this called chicken yakhni as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, chicken yakhni. So you were saying this, is, this was a smuggler's market at one point, right? Yeah. So all the stuff were smuggled in from Afghanistan? From Afghanistan. Yeah, okay. all this market. Before it was, you know, the name was a smuggle market. Smuggle market. S smuggle market. All the smuggled things came here uh, from the Afghanistan through the border. Smuggle well, means illegal. Yeah, illegal, illegal. illegal. Yeah, smuggle. Okay, illegal. Illegal. So like different market. electronics and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Now they're they're saying the people, the locals, they're saying that the Afghan border is blocked. Um, electronics, uh, blankets, each and everything. They came from uh, Karachi through the port. Yeah, so it's not smuggled through. It's come in legally. It's illegal. Now it's okay. legal. So, how big is this market? I mean, it's really, really wide, right? Because there's a highway in between, and then usually on the road is where you have all the vendors with food, right? So over here, we have peanuts, we have chicken, and then over here, we have kheer, kheer. My friend, you're too kind. I'm gonna try some kheer. So sweet, very nice. Mm. So rice pudding with brown sugar. Oh. Tasty! Shukriya, shukriya, shukriya. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> They're too friendly. Too friendly here. Very peaceful. Wow. More electronics, right? Just non stop electronics to the left. Watch to the right. Electronics. Alright, guys, I'm gonna try it on. Let me see what I look like. I like the color. The color is beautiful, right? Doesn't fit me too well, though. It's a little too small. Small on me. Small on me. I'll stick with mine. I love this one. This one's the best. Sugar, yeah, sugar, yeah. Look at this perfume vendor. Yeah. Look at this. So many different beautiful colors. He's just making a perfume. He's making it right now. Yeah, he's mixing different flavors and then. He's What is he doing here? Yes, you know. There's a milk inside. He's mixing cream with milk. And then, uh, you know, some putting some, uh, you know, ice into that milk and they're mixing with broth. I've never seen this. I mean, he's pushing down the fat into the ice. He's just doing it, doing it. He throws it up in the air. Pretty epic, man. Awesome stuff. <laughs> this market, the sounds, the smells. So much interaction here. People will just keep asking me to come and take photos. I'm like, okay. I'll do it. What's up guys? How are you doing? Hi. Assalamu alaikum. We're looking for the Pula house and the one we're going to, there's five branches but we're looking for the main branch. We already stopped at three of the, the branches but we're looking for the specific one because there they say the Pula is actually tastier. And as we walk around obviously we saw the guy making lassi, you know the guys willing stuff. Everybody's so nice. Hello my friend, hello. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> Love this bazaar man. What's up guys? Hello, hello, hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? Very good, very good. Where are you from? Very, Miami, America, America. 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 Oh, America. Good, America. Good, good. America. Uh, Wonderful. This is the actually hotel which we are we were searching. It's called Baba Wali Hotel. Uh, there are five branches like the name of Baba Wali Hotel. But and this, this is the one. Yeah, this is the old one and this is the special one. All right, guys, let's go upstairs and let's try some pulao. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? How are you? How are you? I, lo I love your, your outfit. So guys, yes. very nice. What I love about these restaurants is that right outside here, they're cooking some kebabs, right? The smell, the aroma. Wow. Now we're gonna enter the kitchen and see the pulao. Wow, look at this kitchen. Oh, big, big fat. Ooh, that looks really good. Nice beef, moist rice. Fantastic pulao. So he's serving us the pulao. Big plate, fills it up with rice, then he puts garnishes on top, which is basically carrot. And then he looks for a big piece of meat to put on top. Very, very juicy, very moist. The smell is like unbelievable. Steam. Steam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can't wait, man, can't wait. So right here are the different sizes for different amount of people, right? So here's for one person, two people, three people, four people. He's gonna show us the four person, how he serves it. It's a huge plate. Four people eating that monster plate? Yes. That's a huge pulao. Humongous. With a bone in, inside, bone marrow, mmm, that's, that's the best part. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, pull out. Okay, come on, David. The plow is ready. Uh, we're gonna sit down traditional style, right? Yeah, that's the best way. Sit down on this mat over here to the right. You ready? Uh, ready. <laughs> this is great. Sitting down. I'm gonna use my hands, no spoon. My friends over here using spoon. On second thought, we're gonna use spoons. Okay, let's go. Okay. So just get some of this, right? Get a little bit of mix, right? So some beef, get some of the carrots. Oh, the rice. Baba Wali. Baba Wali Kabli Mmm. Oh my god. That beef, so tender, literally like melts in your mouth. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh man. So good. So tasty. I love the rice. I love how moist it is. It's almost a. I'd say like a, almost like a risotto in terms of moisture, right? Because some rices, you know, are less moist, more dry. This one is very moist. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the best is to get the carrots, right? Because it's a nice, sweet taste. Mmm, look at that. Oh, oh, this is great. Basically, this, they use the Thai meat, the, the part of the Thai, yes, all meat. So that's why it's a little bit different. It's look like mutton. This is definitely the best pulao we've had on the trip. Mm. Oh, I can eat this all day. I just love it. Love the raisins in here too. Mm -hmm. mm. I think we're gonna finish this whole thing. I thought it was huge, but we're, we're finishing it for sure. Mm -hmm. And right here, you gave me some bone marrow. The gelatin. <laughs> oh yeah. Get yeah, some fatty. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. So good. And you give us some, some more garnishes so if you want. You add some on top, right? Like that. Mm. What an incredible pulao. I think this is the one dish everybody should try when they come to Peshawar. This is the, the ultimate pulao right here. I'm not exaggerating. This is so tasty. Mm. My mouth is like watering thinking about the next bite. So for you, is this the best pulao in the city? Like, what do you think? This city. Yeah? In this city? This city, this stuff. The wall is made with Asli Baba Wali Hotel. What? It said Asli means pure. 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 Pure Baba Wali. Baba Wali basically uh, the restaurant name is Baba Wali. Right. There are more than five branches here by the name of Baba Wali. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, the old, the old and the pure one is this. So whoever your guide is, ask him to take it to the Baba Wali, the pure one. You know, the best one. He's saying that we are working here for the last 15 years. But the other ones, the other four branches are newly starting. At this stage, the best part of this, uh, you know, coffee flowers, they are using mostly the Thai, Thai part of the yeah. beef. So it's Thai of the beef. So thai. it's extra, extra meaty, juicy, right? That's right. Let me ask you, what is this? It's called like a red chili salsa and a um, bean. This a bean? Beans, yeah. yeah. This salad is basically just like a palate cleanser, right? In a way, you get some crunch, some, you know, some, some freshness, right? So do I grab some of this? Like that? Yes. It's like a red salsa. A red chili salsa. Nice. Chapati for the beans. For the beans? Yeah. Taste it, taste it. What is this? That was like straight butter, jelly, deliciousness. Yes. Incredible. Okay, my friends, we're gonna have some green tea. Mm. Oh, and this also has a little bit of milk, a little bit. You can taste it right away. It's milk, right? Yeah, yeah. The other one was pure milk. This one's green tea with a tiny, like, splash. Splash of milk. Mm. Nice digestive. This is perfect, right? Really healthy. It's a great way to digest the food. Use this green tea after the plow. 
Let's go. Oh. Oh, my legs. Shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you Most so much. Most welcome, sir. Thank Most you. Welcome. Delicious. Thank Fantastic. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We still have one more to try. It's the Dumplo. I think we have to drive out of here to get there, but I think we're just gonna walk around and see what else we can find in this beautiful market over here. Garments, right? This blanket's from Afghanistan. Here, we've... Yeah, it's all Afghanistan from. blankets? Yeah. So if you're looking for bedding, this is the place to find it. Beautiful, colorful, oh, so nice. Feels like a soft pillow. Wow, so many. So there's like nine, ten different vendors right here, all selling basically the same thing, just bedding. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. Hello, hello, how are you? This one. Assalamu alaikum. This one, TikTok star. TikTok star. He's TikTok star, yes. <laughs> I love your shop. Very nice. Beautiful blankets, Thank you. right? Where are you from? I'm from uh, America, America. Really? Yeah, how about you? A lot of friend Glasgow. Mm. Yeah? Glasgow, yes. Glasgow, Scotland, Scotland. This is the best part about Pakistan. Every single person literally welcomes you and asks you if you want some tea. So, so nice. You know. Yeah, the hospitality here, unreal. So where are we going to eat the dumpo? Yeah, we are going to the, the restaurant, it's called uh, Dampo. Dampo basically is a plow, it's a type of kabali plow. But uh, they use, uh, uh, instead of beef, they use mutton. But the restaurant's also called Dampo? Yeah, the, the restaurant name is Dampo Khorak. Dampo Khorak. Dampo Khorak, the okay. restaurant name. How far is it? Five minutes? Yeah, I'd say we are it's right going here. to reach. Yeah, so we're driving from the market towards the center of the city. You know, along here we have Jelly Kebab, we just passed, where we ate last night. We have my hotel, and this place, Dumpo. Dumpo. I should have limited myself with that delicious pulao, but I didn't. I didn't limit myself, I'm full. Uh, is it? Yeah. Dumpo. 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 Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? You good? We're right outside of the restaurant, they have two guys cooking some kebabs and also some karai, right? Some chicken ones, and another one with a gravy one. And over here they have some chicken. The, I don't know, that looks like quail, maybe fish. Another chicken. Smells good. Very good. So here's the dumbo on the side of the building. So unfortunately, mutton is not available today, so they went with chicken. It looks great though, and I like the presentation. It's so like flat, like it's like a square flat plate. I've never seen a plate like that. A little different, right? And then, uh, yeah, so he's pulling out the rice, pulls out a little bit of chicken, covers it with more rice, and then he throws some garnishes on it. He got some carrots, some raisins. And this is it, right on the street. All right, we're gonna go inside and eat. Let's go. So guys, Man, that scared me. <laughs> I didn't know the airport was that close. That was right there. Yeah, literally right there. Yeah. Well, this is not our order. It's for somebody inside. But it's basically every single thing they have here as kebabs, right? So sea kebab. They have quail. They have chicken. I think fish. there's fish. Yeah, fish. fish. Yeah. Wow, so different. And then he put some cabbage on top. He's going to cover it and take it inside. Yeah. It's called dat. Dat. Sitting this, plan. this sitting plan is called dat. Nice. So you can like lay down while you wait for your food. There's a pillow there. And then you sit up and you eat, right? Yeah, yeah. Take off my shoes. Yes. And then come inside here. I'm literally gonna take a nap right here. Yeah. Oh. It's okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm passing out. <laughs> I need a small break. I'm very tired. Dumbo. So you can get it with other stuff, right? Like the fish, the quail, but I decided to just go straight chicken. Alright, so. Mmm. Nice, moist. Mm hmm. And here, you got chicken. Very tasty rice. Very tasty. Mmm, look at that. So, some raisins in here. A little bit of the garnishes. You can add some more if you want, like that. Just add on top. Right? And then we break the chicken. So, you got a drumstick and you have a thigh, right? Yeah, just pull out some of that flesh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So juicy. This chicken was actually grilled. It's not inside the rice. Usually when they have mud in, that's cooked inside, you know? Very similar to the pulao, but this is different. I like this though. This is unique. It's a, just like a light rice dish with some grilled chicken. Juicy. I like the outside, how it's like like a little, little charred, you know? 
This is the single, you know, single mm -hmm. chicken tikka. This is me. If you want to get more complex, you can add, like he said, quail, fish, chicken. I, you know, I already ate a lot today, so taking it easy, trying it just straight with the chicken tikka. I get some garnishes just like that. Big bite. Mm hmm. Mm. I love the garnishes. Mm. Nice carrots. And the raisins. Personally, for me, the last pulao was better. Obviously, it's different. Pulled out all the juices of the beef. This is just moist rice with raisins, carrots, and chicken on the side. It's good. Nice chicken tikka, huh? Yes, nice chicken tikka. Well, now you guys know what dumpo is. Mmm. Mmm. I'm crunchy. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, we're done. Shukriya. 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 My friends, we're done. We explored the Cajano Bazaar, Cajano Market. Incredible spot. I mean, it doesn't end, right? Electronics, perfume, shampoo, bedding, food, 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 food. And we also tried the Cabali. Pulao, Kabali Pulao, delicious. Oh, so mouth-watering. That was one of the best Pulaos on the planet, my favorite so far in Pakistan. And the people there, so hospitable. I mean, they let me in the kitchen, we walked around, we sat down, tried some tea, and then we drove over here and had some dumpo, dumpo. So I had a small dumpo, you know, because I already ate a lot of food. Just had a little bit of rice, with some garnishes, some carrots, some raisins, and some chicken tikka. Usually, they add fish and, and also quail as well. Man, it's gone. So, man, look at this. So this vendor right here, he's just making dresses, but all by hand. Look at all the details, right? So everything you see here, he's doing right here on this table. I think it's uh, just a bridal dress. Yes, if uh, we, you know, bridal hunt. So this is this for bridal dresses, okay? But uh, otherwise, this is normal, and you can anyone can wear anytime. Look at this shop. How do they get to the top? Oh, it's just like you have to like climb. Yeah, the climb. You have to climb up there. There's no stairway. No <laughs> stairway. Everything good? How are you? How are you? Very good. You? You have to see this. They're sewing together a bridal dress. This massive one takes one week to do. So much detail. Uh, from America, yes, yes. From Florida. Uh, you like tea or green tea? Okay, uh, ask you. I'm okay, I'm okay. No need. No need. Too nice. Everywhere I walk into, they want to serve me tea. Yeah, I think that uh, the uh, special green tea will be lawful. Okay, okay. Why not? Okay. These guys are making a beautiful bridal dress. So this one is upper shawl, and the second one he's making his uh, inner while the uh, bride. And that one is, you know, it's called lehenga. Lehenga. It's lehenga. It's called bridal lehenga. And according to him, uh, now it's uh, the process uh, under process. When it's complete, the cost, uh, you know, uh, it will up to f five hundred dollar to seven hundred dollar. U.S. Yeah, yeah, U.S. dollar. So it takes one, two, three, seven persons working here. So it takes seven days to make one dress. I was expecting it to be, you know, that price just because it is a lot of detail. Seven days, seven men working like eight hours a day. Just so much detail. And if you see the guys going, they grab each bead and then they sew it, but slowly doing it all. And just the amount of work and like attention to detail here is incredible. Really beautiful. Yeah, wow. Seven, seven people, uh, seven person they are. Yeah, they are yeah. working daily 12, 10 to 12 hours. 10 to 12 hours. Yeah, well, I, said, I thought eight hours, but 10 to 12 hours. Wow. Yeah, 10 to 12 hours. Saying that we are still, beautiful. sometimes he's saying that we are still working on night. So eight, night. eight person then for seven days daily. This is awesome. This is like real. You know, you never it's see this. Handmade, okay? Yeah, yeah. You, 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 uh, you never see here any machine or any. No, it's the best. Yeah, handmade it's over true. industrial. All right, my friend, green tea. Green tea. Yeah. You can put your green tea here, no problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one also has some milk, right? Mmm. Wow. You taste that dairy right away. Like you feel the tea, but at the same time you feel that frothiness. 
it brings more energy. Mm -hmm. He's good energy, right? Wow. That's one thing that you have to know. If you're in Pakistan, if you come to Pakistan and you're a coffee lover, get ready. You won't drink any coffee here. I'm a coffee guy. And all I drink is drink tea. Yeah, I love coffee, man. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you so much. Shukriya. Shukriya. So many beautiful things. Wow, look at this. Everywhere you look, there's a craftsman. Somebody doing something. Over here, hey, look at this. They're sewing. They're doing some more by hand. This is awesome. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> so funny, so funny. Everything's good, you? Go. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Come in, come in. What do we have here? Mashallah, mashallah. What's your shop? What is this? This is Zuri shop. Zuri shop. Zuri materials. So this is a fashion yeah. shop, right? So the, this is the beads they sell, and this is what they use to make yeah, all the dresses, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is all the beads. Beautiful. Oh, so this is the pin they use, right? Yeah, yeah. This is by the sew by, by hand. Needle, needle, needle. Yeah, this is the needle. needle. The pin, the needle. Sorry, man, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so outside we have all the commercial shops where they sew dresses, and this is the shop where they get all the material, all the right? Material, okay. The pins, the the beads, um, they have the threads, everything here. So uh, every type of color you want, they yeah, come here and first order. You see a lot of colors here. So every color that you want. I mean, it's literally right in front of the, their shops, so they don't have to walk too far. They don't have to drive anywhere. Just come right here. Awesome. Shukriya, 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 shukriya. Shukriya, shukriya, shukriya. Take care, my friends. Take care. On the front, you'll see the Afghani dresses here. Afghani. The Afghani, basically, the Afghani females they are wearing. So they're very, very and colorful, huh? It's very colorful and it's type of frog. You got more guys sewing here. More guys doing everything. What's up, guys? How you doing? Hello, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Hello, good. Husband. Okay. Very good. Well, very Thank good. You. Very Thank good. you, my friend. These are Afghani dresses, but usually they wear this during ceremonies. Ceremonies. Weddings. This is, you know, uh, the cost of this. This one is saying that uh, it's around one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Yeah, they're all very colorful, extremely colorful. You have some that are yellow, purple, green, blue. I mean, a big mix, right? Every single one is like a rainbow. I love this hat. It's a beautiful hat. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Okay, my friend. Shukura. Everybody's so friendly. Are they good, my friend? I love the dress you're doing. Wow. This is this is my kala. Yeah? Aman, get out of He's so funny. <laughs> Take care, guys. Shukriya, shukriya. <laughs> Thanks. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. America, America. America. Okay, so we made it here to a super busy street, like a billion tuk tuks. And over here to the right, we have some of the oldest buildings. You can see they're like falling apart, basically. I love the architecture, though. So it's like round, um, I guess, like terraces, right? Yeah, like the indoor place. terraces, the stones. And then over here, more commercial shops, right? So Mostly on the wooden structure. Okay, well, yeah, this is a really old building as well. And so all these uh, vendors are selling stuff for women, right? For, for women. women. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Especially for women and okay. kids. And kids too? And kids yeah. too. Because mostly I see this like women's shops. You have a, you know, a few Afghan stuff and also Pakistani. I mean, it's a big mix. Obviously, a lot of uh, Afghani refugees are in this city. That much women crowd in another street. Yeah, only this, this street. This is only this street. Oh, okay. Before, you've never seen that. And right here, this vendor is making seek kebabs. Yeah, seek kebabs. And this is for beef. Beef and beef. Yeah, beef. It's beef. Okay. Beef, seek and in the back, he's actually putting it together. Let me go and see. Hold on. Let me walk in here. Mask on. Let's rip it in half. Mm. Oh yeah. In the best. Mmm. Delicious. Nice spices. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, some good meat. Mmm. I love what he put in it. Some chili. A little chili. Mmm. I don't know what the red stuff is. Maybe some tomato. It is tomato. It is tomato. Right there. It's tomato. Okay. Tomato chilies. Man, incredible marination. Mmm. So good. Dude, I would eat another one, but... Yeah, I love the sea kebab. So it's basically minced meat, right? Puts it on the skewer, you see right here? And then he adds the extra sauce on top. So it like cooks into it, like fuses into it. Mmm, so tasty. So he's making the kebabs we had yesterday, right? The burger kebab, it's like fried burger right here. Shukriya. Shukriya. Hey, my friend, shukriya. Shukriya. The tastiest kebabs I've had in Pakistan. Right here. I mean, besides the burger from last night, like the burger kebab, this one was. Oh, and he adds it into there, like that? Basically, you turn it into a karai. Kebabs into tomato and chilies right there. I would eat all this right now, but we gotta keep going, because if not, 
We're not gonna get hungry for later. <laughs> We're gonna be too full. I love these people. These people are too friendly. Hello, hello. And these are the old, old buildings. Look at this. I mean, it looks like 300 years old, easily. Yeah, it looks like so. Yeah, all yeah. wood, nice terraces. Over there, they have terraces, but like indoors with a little bit of ventilation, right? Has holes so it can ventilate, air passes through. Incredible. I mean, this is like stepping back in time right here. This here is cedarwood. 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 Okay, and then here is like a mini gate, right? From here. Uh, it's the gate when we enter, so we enter the colony as well. So it's more than 100 years old. You will like it very much. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. That one over there? Yeah. Which door? He's like, this one. He's coming. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I'm messing with <laughs> So this is open for tourism. It costs us 100 rupees for both of us to enter, right? Yeah. So we're entering the cellar. We're going super down. <gasps> Look at this. Wow! Incredible. So what is this? Yeah, it's inscribed as a word uh, UNESCO heritage site. So this building we are here, it's for basically for the guest. So the guests were uh, when the, from different cities or from different area. They come came here and they were sitting here because of uh, 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 the coal. Because this become a coal because of underground. Yeah, so during the summer months, the city becomes really hot, and right now, as we entered, it became really cold. So, that'll be a perfect place for guests, right? You don't want them to be overheating upstairs. It's better for them to stay here. Incredible, I had no idea this was UNESCO. Beautiful building. Oh my God, look at the cracks right there. Look at the cracks in the building. <laughs> this next room is the dining hall. Really beautiful, spacious. Now we're gonna go to the next room. You said this is the conference room? Okay, so and this building's over 200 years old. That's 200 years. Okay, great. I love it. Incredible. Look at the bricks. Only the terrace, you know, only the roof has been repaired. Other, uh, the rest of all the walls and each and everything the same. It must be the living quarters, right? The very top. Wow. Very nice stairway. Spacious. I mean, it's very wide, right? According to this, it is a servant room. The servant, the people that were working here, so they were living here. It's a very small room. Very small I mean, just a place to sleep and that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it, because over here, I don't know, is that their closet? <laughs> what yeah, is yeah, that? It's for ventilation. Wow, look at this. Incredible terrace, huge oh, terrace. terrace yes. Beautiful. Look at that. Handmade. Yeah, all handmade, everything. So much detail. So right here in the middle, so you can see they have this mesh so the air gets in because the owner and his family live in this side of the building. On the other side, where we just went through, is the museum. Amazing. Love it. Very nice place. Cool history. It's a cool history, yeah. Look at the ceiling. That's all original, over 200 years old. Look at the details, the colors. So you see some flowers, you know, it's all flowers. Lots of intricate, you know, circles and lines. Very beautiful. If you were alive 200 years ago and you knew the owner of this property and you came to the city, you would stay either in the bottom during the summer months or up here in the winter in this beautiful room. So these rooms are guest rooms. I love the ceilings. Now we're going to the last room. Well, this is another rooftop, right? So the one on the bottom, that's more like a terrace for the guest. And this is the official rooftop. Beautiful. This is incredible. Look at this. I haven't gotten in this view before. Wow, it's a city right there, huh? Yeah, oh, the whole shower scene. Here. The whole city. Look, you see kids over there, families. Beautiful, old town. And on the other side of the terrace, we can see the whole city. I actually like this view better. A lot more things happening, right? So people walking around, honking over there. More beautiful old buildings. This one is newer, obviously. And what's that? Let's say a gate over there. This is the main gate for entrance. There are five gates. Five gates. Five gates. This is the main gate. It's also an old building here, but it's, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's huge damage. Yeah. yeah, that building's not renovated. Incredible. So where to next? The gate? Yeah, the gate and then we... Let's go. Shukriya. Shukriya. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so Most much. Welcome. Thank you so Love much. It. Thank you. Right outside of the house, we have another street food vendor, and he's making some, like, potato kebabs, right? Potato kebabs. Sure. And it's basically potatoes, and he makes it into this, like, round shape. He dips it into eggs, throws it onto the frying pan, and that's it. He has two different variations. He's making this one really fresh. 
I'm ready. Yeah. You wanna do it? Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, oh. Gonna have to do yeah. one. I'm not gonna do that. You gave me the hardest one, dude. Mmm. <laughs> nice. Mmm. Mm. It's basically like mashed potatoes that I've been. That's it. Mm -hmm. Nice snack. Mmm, look at this. Just taste this one. This is a little bit different oh, yeah? uh, than that. Basically, it's mixed with different type of sauces. The sauces which already is there. Mm. So this is purely this now, uh, you know. Yeah, it's plain. Uh, yeah, it's uh, simple plain. Uh, this. Is so what about this taste? Amazing. It's different. Oh yeah, nice spices. Mmm, some chili in here. The best potato fried ever. Mm? Everything fried is good. <laughs> Oh, that's so tasty. Tasty, eh? So tasty. Mmm. Shukriya. Hey, shukriya, shukriya, shukriya. Thanks, guys. Taste it, taste it. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Mmm. What is that? That one's silly. I don't want it right now. My tummy will feel bad later. <laughs> we started on a mission to get to this gate at a certain time. And it's taking forever, but you know what? When things are happening and people are welcoming you and you know, stop for some tea, stop for some food, and that, that house was so unexpected. We didn't know that that was available. We didn't know we could do that. Yeah. So, so you know, you can do that. It is a, you know, attraction. So it's 100 rupees. The potato fritter costs 15 rupees each, but he didn't charge me. That's what happens here in Pakistan. Guest is welcome, everything is free. Okay, this is basically gate, and inside you see here is a park. So that's the gate, guys, the main gate of the city right here. Now we have to go all the way back to the car, and instead of walking through everything, we're gonna get on a rickshaw, a tuk tuk. First time riding a tuk tuk in Pakistan. Let's go. Here we go. My name is David. Darren, David. From America, America. YouTube, YouTube. That's me, that's me. I'll see you later. Nice to meet you. Thank you, sugar, yeah. I love this. <laughs> this is another experience, you know. I love riding tuk-tuks. This is the best. I did it the first time 10 years ago in Sri Lanka, and I really enjoyed my experience, and now I'm doing it in Pakistan. You know, this is the best way to see the city, really, because you're going through traffic, you're weaving through, you're seeing the city, the air is hitting you. And right now, as you can see, the sun is set. People are coming out. It's actually more packed than it was earlier. And that's it. That's it, man. That's basically yeah. it. We're going to be at a car in about two minutes. And then from there, straight to eat some chicken tikka. I got to say, I'm hungry because today we've been eating snacks here and there, you know? We didn't eat like two too much. <laughs> okay, made it here to the main point. There's the fort, it's a military base, I never point that way. And over here, we have buses, more people. So guys, how's everything? All right, where's the car? I mean, now it's trying to try some uh, orange. So I'll try a little orange. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but I just added some, some salt, right? Black? Mm -hmm. It's good. Everybody, shukriya. Shukriya, shukriya, shukriya. shukriya. <laughs> Too funny. Hey man, you're the man. Another free, another free snack. <laughs> oh, free. Enjoy. Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. What a great experience. That was beautiful. Nice. And this is it. Cherski Tika. Cherski. Cherski Tika, Cherski tika shop. shop. Here we go, the shop. Right in front, we have the chicken. So in that window, we have the butcher. He cuts oh, up the chicken it. and they bring it right over here. And this gentleman, he makes the chicken kebab, right? So it's chicken tikka kebab. So basically, chicken uh, with some bones, right? So like the drumstick, the thigh, it sit right on the skewer and then into the fire. So what are we eating tonight? Yeah, we'll eat uh, this uh, tikka, including wings, uh, uh, drumstick, and uh, cheese. So combined combination of this is uh, you know it's a, a small layer. So we really By the way, they also add salt before they put it on to the grill, right? They add always salt. So if you want, you can order a full chicken. That's what a few customers did. They ordered three full chickens. So they put four skewers right through them, put the salt on it, put it on here, and that's it. We got uh, wings, drumstick, and chest. 
I'm ready. I'm hungry. All right, we're going up to the restaurant now. It's the next level, right? Okay. Up there? Yeah, we'll go up there. Okay, perfect. This is the kitchen area. Yeah. I love how the kitchen is outdoors, out in the open, wow. and right there's the restaurant, the very top. Love this restaurant. It was beautiful. Same way as before, right? We just sit down here. Yes. Woo. Okay. Great. And if you want to, you can lay down. There's some pillows. But we're gonna eat right now. I'm hungry. And this is our dinner. Chicken tikka, chinka rai. We have some naan, right? Yes. Salad and? Raita. Raita always. Nice delicious yogurt with spices. It's the specialty of Jersey tikka. Okay. Especially rai and the tikka. So how do we do this? Grab? Yeah, just a skin. Like a little this. Piece. Yeah. Okay. okay. You can leave it some too. Okay. Yeah, always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I love that it has no spices. No spices, just nothing salt. else. Salt. Just salt. Yes. This is the special thing. Mm -hmm. Don't be on a marinade, nothing. Mm. Juicy. Oh wow. To be honest, what I'm really excited for is this one. I can eat like a million of these though. Get more of this. Oh man, this chicken is so good. I love how it's like charred on the outside, juicy on the inside. Mm. Mm. Incredible. Okay, I need to serve myself some of this. Oh yeah, that karai, man. It's so good. It has tomato sauce. Mm. So it's going here, right? A little piece. This one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. A little bit of naan, oh, a nice bread, nice flat bread, straight out of the tandoor. Go in here, get a little piece. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Take some support. Oh, yeah, man, for sure. Put it right here, put it right here. Now, I mean, I would just go in here and go like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the. Mmm, mmm. Nice tomato. Is this peppers or chilies? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All the green chilies and tomato. That's it. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. It's delicious. It is. I'm in love with this. I recently learned about Karai. I went to a Pakistani restaurant in South Florida. Blew me away. Mm -hmm. mm. Needs more bread. And what you do is go in here and you grab that tomato sauce and the chilies. And the chilies aren't spicy. Not spicy at all. Mm. It's like that. Mm. No, no, you have to use this. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. The chicken was on the grill, right? The chicken tikka. And then they put it in the karai. Amazing. The reason is it's so mm -hmm. delicious. Because it's it's still juicy. And that smoky taste. Mm. Karai is the best. Oh. Well dinner. I'm so happy. Our last meal in Peshawar. That's great. If you are happy, then you know we are set Man, I'm so happy. It's this is amazing. Oh, what I'm gonna do now? Break up some of this chicken. Put it on right here with the naan, the chili, and tomato. Mmm. Mind bending. Bending. Not blow, not mind blowing. Mind, like, it's bending my mind. <laughs> Got it. We're just gonna dive in here, right? Just go in, grab as much as you can. So good. And what I love about this, there's no spice here. No spice. So mild. And they told me about that. This city is all about mild food. One of the best chicken dishes I've ever had. A little more. Mm. And it's not so, bo so much bones. Like one bone. It's not, not a cool one. Mm -hmm. Not that one. Blown away. 
this sauce. So good. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You literally just put three big tomatoes in, put them down, and the moisture comes out. Mm. And once you're done eating, you can just lay down right here on this pillow. This is the best. It's a traditional seating area, so it's not a seat with a table. It's literally the floor. Eat here and chill. Amazing food, my friend. Delicious. Today I'm taking you to explore the city of Mardan. We're gonna go through the bazaar, we're gonna have some delicious kebabs, and we're also gonna visit an ancient Buddhist monastery over 3,000 years old. But right now we're stopping in a small town called Tarul Jaba to have some breakfast. It's like half an hour from Peshawar, basically midway point from Peshawar to Mardan. We're gonna have some eggs, some parata, and some lassi. Let's go inside. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, parata. Yes. Right here we have the man making the paratas. These are oily, crispy paratas. He also has some eggs. And this gentleman over here is gonna make some lassi for us. Delicious lassi. I love it. Mm. And this one's a thick lassi. Is it more Punjabi style or is it like more liquidy? It's, it's a little bit liquidy. Okay. It's look like a Punjabi style. So if you wanna add the uh, sugar, then uh, it's up to you. Otherwise, it's normal. The best is uh, sugar, okay? All right, so they're making the lassi for us. This one's a little thinner, not as thick as the one in Punjab, and they put my lie on top. I love how they make it, right? Traditional style. And then right here we have the guy with the chana, which is the chickpeas with some spices, lots of oil, and eggs. Oh, I can't wait. And they also have the halim, which is basically like a lentil stew with chicken. I had it in Karachi. Amazing, a Karachi halim. This looks good, but I think we're just gonna go with the lassi, parata, eggs, and maybe a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love the chana. Okay, the chana is the best. Meat. What is that? I just see it. It's called halwa. Halwa? Oh, it's halwa. It's halwa. Oh, I thought it was like brown sugar for a second. Okay, nice. Yeah, I I'm down to try everything, bro. I'm hungry. Sure. Loving this local restaurant. Look at this. So, guys, salam alaikum. Shukriya, shukriya. Here we go. Parata, kahalim. We have some chana. And right here, we have the halva. So, first thing to do, right? Go in here, grab some of this nice and crispy parata. Go into the chana, grab some like that. Oh, I love it, nice and oily. Mmm. 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 Oh, and the egg. Mmm. So much flavor. I'm in love, man. What a great breakfast. I love these styles of breakfast, you know? Random towns, good food, local, the best. We also need to get some chai. Chai chai? Yeah, for sure. Mm. The parada is different everywhere, right? Sometimes it's in tandoor, sometimes it's fried. This is the way to do it. Mixing all this together. Mm. It's so good. So much flavor. What an incredible breakfast. Don't worry, my man. I get dirty every time I eat. <laughs> Just like that. Break it up. Mm. Mm. What I love about the chana is the egg. Having that hard-boiled egg. Mm. Not so spicy. It's nice and oily. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna go over here into the halim, right? So a lentil stew with chicken. Oh yeah, it's very pasty. Mm. Oh, I love it. Mm, with mint on top. That is some mint. Oh, nice and flavorful, huh? Herbal. Yeah, super tasty. God, I love Pakistan. Every single day I'll eat this. You have no idea. Combination. The halim also has some crispy onions. Mmm. And lastly, we have the halva. I don't know if you can mix it, but. Mmm. Super sweet, right? It's almost like a. Um, like straight sugar here. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and sweet and savory mix. Oh, yeah. This is so good. What a great breakfast, man. And once you're ready, drink some of the lassi. 
Mmm. Oh, another melange on top. Next melange, which is basically cream mixed with yogurt. Oh, so cold. Breakfast of champions. So grab this and this. Make it very sweet. I've never done this before, but I love it. Last thing I do is mix the halim with the halba. Mm. Oh man, streaming different flavors here. Between the sweetness, the mintiness, nice chicken lentils. Wow, I'm blown away. No, I'm good, I'm good. We had no idea where to go in this place. We just looked for a good shop that had everything we're looking for, right? Plata, chana, and some eggs. Hey. Cheers, Cheers. my friend. Cheers. Yeah, you gotta get the stash, right? Get all that malai in the stash. Mm, got milk. And last thing I have to have is some chai. Obviously, there's no coffee here in Pakistan. It's all about that tea. Mmm, love the style. Mmm, cardamom, right? The cardamom here. Nice and milky, frothy. Always the same, guys. Sometimes it changes. If you have green tea, it'll be plain, you know? But sometimes they add some milk to green tea, which is a little different, right? It tastes more like this, but straight green. I like this though. Mmm, almost like cafe con leche. And always piping hot. If your chai is too hot, the trick is pour it into the plate. Mmm, -hmm. nice and cool. Alright, guys, that was breakfast. Let's go to Mardan. Shukriya, shukriya. Welcome, welcome. Everything was delicious. The lassi, the chana, parata, big belly now. <laughs> and we're outside, we have to do this tempura. Look at that. Beautiful. Naan. Oh man, they don't stop, huh? Lots of naan. We got naan, we have chai, we have them doing all different food. This place is awesome. Alright, guys, let's go to Mardan. So now uh, we are going to Mardan. It takes 30 minutes. So this is the main great trunk road. This road is connected to Lahore and also Peshawar. This is the main road, it's the GT road. So it takes 30 minutes to 30 to 40 minutes from here to Mardan. And here we're gonna see lots of different small towns, basically markets everywhere, bazaars everywhere. Uh, small restaurants slash hotels, if you guys don't know in Pakistan, restaurants, they call them hotels. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna see a lot of this, uh, a lot of markets, right? And we'll be there soon, 30 minutes, it's quick. Yeah. All right, my friends, we're stopping here to see a livestock market. You can see they have a truck full of sheep and goats. Oh, this is great. This guy's so funny. He's going in. I think he's going to pull one out, right? Yeah, he's going to pull. Okay, so over here we have the merchants and the buyers. So all these trucks are full of goats and sheep, right? That's all it is. Different villages from this area and from the Peshawar inside of uh, the other uh, travel agencies are also from the Sabat. This livestock market is very simple, right? It's just an area full of lamb, goats and sheep. That's it. Merchants, you know, the clients come in and they purchase. They usually come in these small vehicles, right? Where they have a big setting in the back and a big trunk. You know, some of them have a second level, so you can add more sheep and lamb on top, and they're all fighting. All, all the sheep and goats are fighting each other here. I like this one. This is really, really pretty. Some of them are, you know, brown, some are white, some are spotted. This is incredible. This is the real life, you know? This is real. This you never see anywhere. In Europe, you don't see this anywhere. It doesn't exist anymore. Incredible. And everybody's so friendly. They're like, come, 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 check this out. I'm like, whoa, what's happening here? Wow, so many. Look over here, how many. Oh man, it is massive. I didn't see how big it was. Look at that. Incredible. Okay, guys, that's basically it. <laughs> Livestock market with two different animals. Alright, let's go back to the car. Let's go to Mardan. We're an awesome market, man. Incredible. Yeah. It's real life, right? It's raw. Woo! It's busy. Busy, busy. We have just crossed the river, it's called Kabul River. It's coming from the Afghanistan and going to the down South Pakistan. And now we've entered the district of Mardan. Lots of traffic here, lots of commercial vendors, people coming out, tuk-tuks, motorcycles, cars, trucks, 
Yes. What is this? Uh, this is called uh, the Kitab Chok. This the is called chok. Kitab Chok. It's here. It's a wrong about. This is just uh, a chok here. It's called Kitab Chok. And now we're going to the main market of uh, Maldan, the main street. So once you see this, you made it to the city, right? Yeah. This is like the beginning of the city. And this is it, Mardan. We're gonna walk through the main street, go around the bazaar, see what we find. Hopefully some snacks. I'm sure there's a lot of street food vendors everywhere. And yeah, yeah maybe, maybe I buy another one of these, right? A white color. A white color, white color, yeah, for sure. Like uh, Peshawari chapel is a type of shoes. Oh yeah? Yeah, Mardan chapel. And also we'll taste some oh. type of fruit chart and channa chart as well. And the hibale. So we're gonna cross the street, there's a bunch of vendors over here. Got sugarcane, <laughs> got I, everything. My friend, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Sugarcane, the best. Yeah. I love this. Sugaria, sugaria. Refreshing. That was like two seconds. <laughs> so good. Oh, amazing. Wow. I feel great. This is all chicken tikka shops. Literally right here on the street. Hey, I thought they come. You are so friendly. Can I? Can I? Delicious. So the chicken is hanging. Obviously, butchers here in the area. They clean the chicken. They cut it up, chop it up, and they make some karai. You can also have it, you know, chicken tikka on a skewer, right? Or you're gonna do it like this. Mm, look at that. Oil. You gotta be careful, the oil pops. Wow. Incredible. Everything right here on this trip. Everybody's too friendly. This is the best. Oh, wow. Woo. Okay, so we walked up to a shop that has biryani. I haven't tried biryani in the north yet. So there's nothing in it, right? In terms of meat, it's just two different rices and spices. Mm. Minty, herbal. Mm -hmm. So it's just the rice, and then you add the chicken if you want, right? So now you have to change the taste, because now we are coming down to the South Pakistan. I love all these rice dishes, man. Biryani, pulao, sugar eat all day, man. So good, thank you. So here we have a few vendors selling walnuts, almonds. It's a Malbury. The Malbury. The Malbury. Okay, and this one? This is Chana. This is Chana. There's a different type of chickpea. I've never seen one this tiny. Because you know, it's uh, boiled and then they fry. Okay, and over here we have some more Chana. Yes. Some Chana, some oh, beans, some like mosa. Yes, yes. Looks good. Very nice, but. You think? No, I'm okay, I'm okay right now. Okay. We eat so much today. And later we eat some, uh, what are we gonna eat? Some kebabs. And right behind this vendor, we have a Faluda house. Faluda, fresh juice. Let's have some. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing, my friend? Everything good? And this is the Faluda Mardan style. Usually Faluda is in a glass, right? With jellies, yogurt, I mean, big mix of things. So what's this one? Yeah, this is a little bit different. This is a specialty of Mardan. It's also mixed with cheese, malai, and the goya. The goya? Yeah, the goya. So this is a vegetable? It looks like it's simple, but it's so tasty. The ice cream. It's it's it's, it's kulfi. Uh, yeah, it's it's okay. So it's like the kulfi. Mm -hmm. You it's have a malaya. Yeah, top. yeah. You can say it's a kulfi. It's like a kulfi. Yeah, it's straight up ice cream, but it's chopped up in a way it looks like like some type of vegetable. You know, some type of yeah, pineapple like something. Mm -hmm. But this, kulfi is. Oh, oh, brain freeze. <laughs> 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 it's very good. And under it, is there anything under it? Oh yeah. So under we have this, like the jellies, right? Like noodle jellies? Is it like, yeah, noodle jellies, yes. Mmm. Oh wow, I love it. It's extremely cold. It's a super chill, icy paluda. Mm hmm Yeah, there's extra, the jelly. So here are the jellies. Yeah. I love this. This, this, this. It's all good. Mm -hmm. it's, so it's not too sweet. It's more the milk that it's in, right? Yeah, it's a milk. Pashtun language is called manchur. It's the same like a noodle they boil with the uh, milk. Nice refreshing snack and a super hot day. Oh, 
Oh. Hard to chew through. It's so cold. Oh. One last bite. Get some of the noodles. Some of that super cold kurfi. Mm. You must try this dish when you come to Mardan. Let's go. Shukriya. Shukriya. Delicious. Another dish we don't pay for. Thanks, guys. Shukriya. Shukriya. So here we have another one of these, right? What are they called? What do you call this? The scarf? Uh, this is called scarf. This is scarf, right? Yeah, scarf. So I have it in this color, but I think white would look better with the blue, right? Yeah, it's making. So, how much for this one? Doso. Doso. We're negotiating, we're negotiating. I love it. Wow. It's great. No, it matches perfect. Green, white, and blue. Perfect. Wow. All right. <laughs> it's 150. We negotiate from 200 to 150. Shukriya, shukriya. As we keep walking, there's more for little shops. Just three, four, five, back to back to back. Here's another one. Oh, it's like this, right? They use these beautiful little bowls. Nice. All right. So I think we're gonna look for the shoes now. You know, traditional shoes from the area. We're gonna get an special wire, but he said here they're actually more special. The next part of the market is fabrics and bedding. bedding. Like 20, 30 vendors in a row, just like this, right? So you come here, you can buy some clothing, right? And also stuff for your bed. Hello, my friend, how are you? How are you? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. This part of the market is the livestock, right? So we got chickens. So you come here, you buy a chicken, they'll cut it for you, you know, the butchers. And over here is like the legs, the feet, the chest, organs, gizzard, everything, everything. So down this street in the market, it's butcher shops and fabric shops. That's a fabric shop. That's it. So you see a lot of women walking around, obviously. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically it for it. Yeah, it's the same thing over and over though, right? Yeah, that's right. It's mostly fabrics and clothes like this. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the main street and then we're gonna look for the, the sandals, right? Sandals. Sandals. Okay, we just go there and just the left side, there's a, a lot of shop of Pishawri Chapel. Before we get to the sandal shops, over here to the left, this is the electronic shops. So it's like two levels, just a long alley, United Mobile, so all electronics. You know, computers, telephones, and chargers. Charger, phone, chargers, batteries. These guys are on the motorcycle right on the sidewalk. They almost ran into me. <laughs> they are beyond friendly. They all welcome you. You want some tea? I've had like four cups. I don't, can't have another tea. My stomach's feeling <laughs> a little upset. And I need to eat some kebab, so gotta chill with the food, right? That's one thing I gotta say though. When you're eating this much, slow it down, take mini breaks, and don't eat too much. Like, just some bites and keep going. That's it. Peshawari Chapal. So beautiful sandals. This is the style, right? Always like this. They're really nice, I like them. So all leather, right? All leather. So you got some blue, black, brown, different colors. Okay, my friends, I wanna try some. I wanna want buy one. Traditional though, I want traditional. What color do you like? I mean, brown's cool, blue's nice as well, but blue might be a little blue different. Blue's, blue's cool? Blue's cool. Okay, let's go with blue, let's see. Let's yeah. try some. Yeah. This one is, I like this one. The finishing and the color. The sole, each and everything is like awesome. Yeah, I love it, I love it. So the size, I guess, they probably have other sizes, right? Uh, what's your number? Oh, I like it. it smells yeah. brand new. <laughs> and this is leather, 100%. It's 100% Okay, perfect, wow. Really cool design, right? And the bottom, I've seen it, this is not tire, right? It's this totally handmade. Handmade. Yeah. No machine, nothing. So that was a 10, so I think I need a 12. 12. Wow, beautiful, man. I love the styles. Yeah, I think this is the perfect size. Let me just buckle it in. I love these sandals. Man, they fit great. Look at that. Beautiful. Super clean. Love this design. Look at that. So all handmade, right? All handmade. Okay, how much? How much? Free. <laughs> Shukriya. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you. I love them. Right here, right? Beautiful. You don't want one? No, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're too nice. So it was 2000 He gave us a discount. So 1800 Yeah, 200 you get 200 discount. discount. And we're going to cross and get some tea right here. Some chai? Assalamu alaikum. 
No, it's too much. So once they saw that I was here, everybody was calling me into their shops. They wanted me to see all the different shops, all the different shoes. I went to like three more. I mean, really cool. Not They don't just have it just the way I bought it. They have it with a few different designs, extra layers, extra fabric as well. Really nice stuff. I highly recommend coming to this strip. Go to one of those shops, obviously, go to the Imperial Collection where I bought. But you can go to the ones in front too and see what else they got. So many different varieties, but always the same. Peshawari, Peshawari, Peshawari Chapal. Chapal. Peshawari Chapal, which means shoes, right? Shoes. Okay, so now kebab? Now, now got the kebab. Oh, I'm hungry now. Now I'm starving. No, okay. <laughs> the Faluda filled me up for like a little bit. <laughs> The kebab shop is at the end of the same street we're on, but it's at the very, very end. So instead of walking, wasting another 20 minutes, we're getting in the car and we're gonna be there in one second. Guys, unfortunately, uh, the kebab place is closed today because it is Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday here in Pakistan, you cannot find beef or mutton. You know, most of the cities you can still find it, but here especially because they're a little more stricter, the police will close down the shops, so they don't even open the shops. We forgot it was Wednesday. And uh, yeah, that's unfortunate for us, but we're gonna find something to eat on the way to the Buddha Monastery right now. Uh, let's see what we find, right? Yeah. We're like five minutes away from the monastery and we stopped here at PK Hotel and Restaurant to have some chicken tikka kebabs. Maybe even some karai. Yeah, but right there, I see it. Kebabs on the grill. So okay. PK, is your restaurant? Yeah, PK is my restaurant. And what are we gonna eat today? Uh, inshallah, we will eat today sikh kebab. This is called sikh kebab. It's chicken sikh kebab. Chicken sikh kebab, sir. And you also have pulao? Uh, also pulao, Afghani pulao. Uh, very special Afghani pulao. Okay, so right here, they're grilling the sikh kebabs. Chicken sikh kebabs. They look so good. So delicious. We're gonna go and see how they make the Afghani pulao. Yes, it's the best. So good. This is called uh, kabuli pulao. <laughs> I'm super excited to eat this food at PK. Look at this. So we have the pulao, the chicken si kebab, chicken karai, and some naan, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we start? Yes. Which one? Just sikh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, from sikh. Oh, it's a sikh. Yeah. I love sikh kebab. Lots of spices here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, delicious, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. So it's minced chicken, right? Mmm. Oh. So tasty. I love the karai. So the karai is basically like a tomato curry, right? Tomato curry and um, also it's, uh, make some a little bit of cream as well. Okay. And everybody came in here to watch the <laughs> Mm. I love the garnishes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gives it a sweet flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. And what you should do is get in here and break up all the meat, right? So this is how you do it, right? Always break it up with the hands, break up the flesh, and I actually love adding the raita like that. Woo! A little too much there, but mix it in. Right? Wow. Oh yeah, make it super creamy. Super creamy. And also you can cut in small pieces and mix with it. Oh yeah? Yeah, and also it's chicken. That will be. So you get a mix of everything? Even the, the tomato? I'm not crying. Yeah? Mm. Mm. Crazy flavor here. So you can also use the naan to grab. Yeah. In here, right? Just grab everything. Mm. And I love that how mild it is. It's like no spices here. No, not the it's just spices. pure. Like pure everything, right? They only add a little bit they of salt. Don't use like, and, uh, red chili, like something there. Mm -hmm. A little bit there, adding. Mm -hmm. So not that much. It's it's not. You cannot say it's uh, full of spicy. Uh, it's a little bit. A little bit spicy. So be aware there are bones. Got two around it, right? Wow, I love this pulao. So the best thing to do is just mix this all in like this, break it up. Yeah. That makes it this is the best way to do it. So you just mix the, the bones, mix it in, mix some of that in right there. So you basically blend all the different flavors. Tomato, curry, the chicken, I love the garnishes. So you have carrots, you have some raisins in here, and we have the raita. 
Mardan food. Mardan food. Oh man, you see kebabs? I've never made a sea kebab with, with rice. First time. I love it. So tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though we're not eating meat, it's still a really hearty, filling plate. Mm. So what do you think of my, my eating skills? Excellent, right? Wow. It's typical Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. Just a little more. I love it. This is incredible. When you come to Mardan, you have to come to PK Hotel and Restaurant and eat his pulao, his chicken sea kebabs. And chicken. wow, the karai, man. <laughs> Thank the karai. you so much. Thank Incredible. You so much. Hey, my man. Thank, Thank you so much for your coming, you. sir. Thank I'll you come so much. back, inshallah. I come inshallah. back. Very inshallah. soon, inshallah. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank so you. much. So, guys, everything good? Five minutes drive from the restaurant is Takt e Bai, right? Yes. Ancient Buddhist monastery. Getting in here is a big market, and you go in the back roads, and then right here by the hills is the monastery. To get into the monastery it costs 500 rupees for foreigners, an extra 300 rupees if you bring in a camera. And this is it, the Buddhist remains of the monastic complex of Tat e Bai, dating back over 3,000 years old, and it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the year 1980. Let's go up to the top. It's a bit of a hike. And remember guys, bring your visa and your passport. They ask you for it right when you enter. A little bit of a hike to get to the top. But it's definitely worth it. Look at this incredible spot. Looks like a huge fort. It's look like yeah, you can say fort. Looks like it, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful stone structure, and the entire area is full of structures like this. The only thing is that they excavated only a like a fraction oh, of it, right? Wow, look at that. So was that like housing? I'm guessing that was more like housing <laughs> up there, big area. The very top, you have some views, hills. Wow, so it's one, two, three, four, five different spots. Cool. By through the UNESCO, they are excavating. So, slowly. Yeah, slowly. So if uh, f after five to 10 years, so you'll see more like we, like this type of buildings here. This first room we're in is like the stupa area, right? Stupa area, you can see. So small stupas, and then in the center, we have a massive stupa, and obviously it's missing the actual top. Only that on there, you know, it's uh, four, seven steps. So, uh, so now we can see here only two or three steps left. Yeah, beautiful. 3,000 years old. Yes. Still Incredible. Uh, here's a meditation cell. So here's a small room inside. They go inside and they just meditate and come out for us in this area. And luckily we're here in March because if you come here in like June to August, it would be extremely hot. I've been to so many ancient ruins during those times, like during summer months. Don't recommend it. Come spring, fall. It's the best time. Whew, going to the top now to get a beautiful view over the entire monastery. Whew, be in shape. Steep hike. So we made it to the top and check out this view. Incredible, massive monastery complex. In front of us, what we just walked through, huge, like 20 to 30 foot, or let's say 10 to 15 meter uh, walls, right? No roofs, because the roofs were wood, so that's all gone, but at least the structure is still here. Silly. You know, it, this is a big place, because if you see the right, you see more houses over there, to the left, more over there as well. So you can explore the whole thing if you want to. I think it will take you roughly two plus hours if you wanted to go around everything, get photos. Uh, but for us, you know, we're gonna go to the main sections. So I think that's it, right? Like yeah, the main right. hall, the stupa hall, and the monastery over there behind it, right? That's the, and also the uh, meditations. That's the meditation. So what we're gonna do next is go straight to the monastery, that side. Okay. A little more to the left, you can see how massive this place is. And this is only 25%, only 25% of the entire complex has been excavated. You can see different buildings, the side of the wall. It's like a mini city, right? Here, this is like, uh, you know, serving quarters slash monk quarters. It's a big mix. It looks huge though. I haven't been to one like this, where you see the structure and the beautiful hills around it. This is so different. It's incredible. It feels like a desert right now though. It's really hot. That's how it always is with ancient ruins. Stones and heat, hot. This is uh, like a classroom, ancient classroom, and they were sharing here Buddhism. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Wow. This is just incredible. I love going to ancient sites like this. All right, can't believe it stood the test of time, huh? 3,000 years? 
My friends, how are you doing? Assalamu alaikum. What's up, guys? Everything good? Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. The last thing we have to visit here is the monastery, right in front of where the stupas are. So that's basically an empty hall, right? There's 15 monk cells here. Monk cells, yes. That's it. It's just, it's just walls. I mean, in the monastery, there's like small rooms, right? And then in the middle, emptiness. And that's it, my friends. We explored everything you could do from Peshawar to Mardan and everything in Mardan. We started off with some delicious breakfast, chana, parata, lassi, phenomenal. Then we went all the way to Mardan and we stopped at a livestock market. Wow, what an experience. Then Mardan, walking through the bazaar, trying the lassi, delicious, super sweet, very sweet. Wow, yeah, that, that lassi was awesome. Then the market, you know, we saw uh, livestock, we saw vendors, so many different like foods, you know, so many things happening at one time. It's a huge bazaar. We also got the Peshawari chapal. 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 And also you got this one. Oh, I got this one as well. I got this. <laughs> and then from there, we drove to this monastery. On the way, we stopped at PK and had some incredible chicken sea kebabs, some parata. Kabli Palau. Kabli Palau and? Kabli Palau and the chicken karai as well. And the chicken karai. Oh, For me, the chicken karai is blowing my mind. I mean, the karai is the best thing in oh. Pakistan. It is it too tasty. good. It's so tasty. Okay. No spices, just tomato based curry. curry. Phenomenal. Wow. And this monastery is a must. You have to visit. When you come over here to Mardan, it is 3,000 years old. It's a huge complex. Take your time if you want. We did it in roughly under one hour. We saw just the main parts of the structure. You know, everything's very similar, but you know, just more rooms, more rooms, more views. Yeah, so that's, that's it. Right. And that was Peshawar, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Would you ever go to Peshawar? I think you definitely should. It is a truly authentic city. So much to see, do, and eat. It's a must visit. If you guys love this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.